Hello and welcome to 4AM Art. And this is the third video where we explore different pen strokes which are going to be very useful when you're drawing and doodling. So for our very first one, this is just another variation of parallel lines or hatched lines. So try to be consistent with uh, the overall tonality within the big square. And this is great practice for being able to draw these strokes in different directions. For our second one, we're going to mix curved lines with straight lines. These are all variations and mix of different strokes. So again, hatch lines will go in different directions. This is great practice for hand-eye coordination. You gotta be consistent and your start and stop points are dictated by the curved lines. So our next one are just rainbow patterns. Again, good practice for drawing curved lines in different directions. Great for practicing your hand control, your pen control. And just so you know, the pen that I'm using here is a Pilot G-Tech. There are different uh, thicknesses of the tips. I believe I'm using a three. Next one is a variation of a basket weave pattern, but I'm varying the starting and stopping points, not necessarily straight up and down either. And this is one of the patterns I would probably use most often, just because it's a little bit less rigid. And for the darker tones, say in a drawing, I would add hatch, uh, cross hatch lines to make some darker tones. This one is a good way to practice drawing circles. The smaller the circle I feel, the easier it is. Larger circles are of course difficult to draw uh, perfectly, which we're not striving for anyway, just because it is hand drawn. But we're trying to vary here the shape of the, the overall shape of the mass that we're drawing with the small circles. Here we're going with a geometric shape. I'm going with a star here. And we're simply starting with the shape in the center, more or less, and going outward. Again, great practice for being able to draw pen strokes in different directions. You could go right to left or left to right. Good to practice both. Or going downward or going upward. Next. We're going to draw a, the basic pattern when you're drawing a feather. So we've got our main stem, curved, couple curved lines in the middle, and coming off it then are more curved lines or groups of curved lines, kind of like a feather where the parts are splitting apart. So again, great practice for drawing curved lines. And finally, we've got our continuous line keeping the pen on the paper the whole time. And we're gonna try to cover the whole square. And again, we're trying to be consistent so that if you squinted your eyes, the overall value or tone of the square remains consistent throughout. If you haven't tried drawing something with just one continuous line, something you should definitely try. And as always, I try to add different line widths to drawings. If you look at the overall theme of this exercise, it's very consistent with the pen. The pen lines are very consistent as far as the thickness. But adding an extra layer of uh, variety makes this a lot more interesting with the thicker lines using a Sharpie. So I hope you found this useful. Please don't uh, underestimate the value of this exercise. These look simple, but it'll really go a long way in helping you draw better. So please check out those other videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.